So the start lengths for the men's 400 metres T37. Charles de Toy, the Paralympic champion, looking to add this world crown to the 200 metres title he's taken earlier in these championships. Michał Kokowski of Poland, the 18-year-old who started Paris Sports just two years ago. Fifth in the 200 metres, he goes in lane nine. Sayed Awaha of Iraq, eighth in the 200 metres at these championships for the 20-year-old. There he is, Charles de Toy, gold over the 200 metres already, silver in 2015, bronze in 2013, Paralympic gold in both this and 100 metres in Rio. From Egypt, it's Mustafa Batala Mohammed, fourth last year, just outside the medals in Rio. Paul Keown of Ireland, seventh in the 200 metres. He missed the 2016 European Championship due to illness. He won his heat, though. Algeria's Safarin Hamdi's debut 10 years ago in Egypt. He was bronze last year in Rio. Valentin Berchand of France, seventh back in 2013, eighth last year in the Paralympics. Carlos Daniel Rodriguez Velasquez, 10th in the 200 metres, his first major championships, 22 years old from Mexico City. So Andre Bedovin holds both the world and championship records. He isn't going in this race, though. Wants to keep an eye on, I think, uh, lane four, the Algerian Hamdi and Detroit coming out of lane seven from South Africa. Well, Charles de Toy is certainly the favourite in this. He was smiling as he finished his heat yesterday. Rodriguez Velasquez in two, Bershon in three, Hamdi in four, Keown in five, Muhammad in six, de Toy in seven, Alaha in eight, and Kokowski gets away well in lane nine. But quickest to get away there is Charles de Toy of South Africa. He stormed out into a lead as they head into the back straight. And then inside him, as that man Chad Paris mentioned, Safari and Hamdi. Paul has dropped back somewhat. Hamdi is up there though, as the toy is on the outside with Mihal Kapkowski with 200 metres remaining. And it's Charles de Toy who heads around that band with 150 left as he looks to add this to what he's already won in this competition with the 200 metres. Charles de Toy, he's way out in front, he cruised home in his heat. It's a case of just having a look at the time as he powers home this time. He's not smiling and taking it easy as he goes across the line. And it's Charles de Toy, we could be in for a record here of some description, or is he just outside it? He's just outside it. 51.02 coming through inside him. It looks like it is Hamdi who's picked up the silver medal, but Charles de Toy, a African record, 51. Exactly, it's been rounded down to. Kokowski has picked up a bronze medal in a lifetime best, the pole in third place, but that was a run in D from Charles de Toy. The record looked like it might go. He's missed out on the championship record by one one hundredth of a second. Quite incredible indeed. Charles de Toy, what a run, Chad Paris. Yeah, from uh, Gunder Tafe, he had that one well covered out of the blocks well, and then down the back straight, had that race controlled and smiling as he crossed the line. 51 seconds, exactly. He had them covered, running down the back straight there. When he came round with about 150 to go, it was a case of what time he was going to do. Hamdi did well on the inside. Kokowski was doing ever so well on the outside. The 18-year-old only started Paris Sports two years ago. He's had a magnificent championship. He was fifth in the 200 metres. Plenty of potential in that youngster. Loads in this man as well. Charles de Toy is now the Paralympic and world champion over this distance. And quite some distance as well. He just kept putting more metres into him, even as he was crossing the line. Well, Hamdi takes the silver medal of Algeria, and Kotkowski, a very fast finish for the pole. 
catching handy somewhat towards the end. No doubting, though, that man with a smile on his face. Charles de Toy, new African record of 51 seconds exactly. Hamdi in a self-medal position. And Kokovsky with a new lifetime best of 53.95 takes bronze.